Hi there, this is Dr. Fan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope you are having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on addition of fractions. I get this kind of question a lot, actually. Why is that when you have one tenth plus two fifths, we can't simply add the denominators and make it a 15 and add the tops and make it a 3? Well, over the years, I found the best way to explaining this actually is through pictures. If I give you a half a piece of paper, this is a half, and then give you another sim sim similar piece of paper of the same size, but this time I only give you a quarter of it. So you have a half of a half, which is quarter. Okay. Now, mathematically, if you were to piece those papers together, you would have the half, the first one I give you, you also would have the quarter I give you. Since this one looks like you have a 3 out of the 4, you can see that answer wise it should be 3 over 4. This is not quite a whole one, but you're missing a quarter over here that's missing. Okay, that's why you have 3 quarters. Now, mathematically it looks like half plus quarter is equal to 3 quarters. Now let's take a look at why we do that. Why do we insist on making that half into a quarter before we can, into a denominator of 4 before we can add? The reason is this, that the bottom number actually decide, decides how big the piece of paper is. And for that reason, when we're doing addition on fractions, we insist the denominator to be the same i.e. we call it a common denominators. And once we get it to the same, we only simply add the top. Otherwise, you end up adding apples and oranges. You don't have two apples and you don't have two oranges. You have neither. Okay. Adding with a similar denominator forces the paper to be the same size. So graphically what happening here is we actually said, look, we have two quarters here. And plus one quarter, we should have three quarters. Now, looking at the problem that we started with, we have one over ten plus two over five. Since we have to insist while we add fractions, the denominator has to be the same. So, by multiplying top and bottom the same number. I am ensuring that I'm not changing the value of the fraction I started with. So I have 1 over 10 plus 4 over 10. And since I have the denominator the same, now they're the same size, 1 plus 4 on top, which is 5 over 10, where you simplify this one, it's actually equal to half. Okay, so this one does not equal to 3 over 15. You can't add to a fraction that does not have the same denominators, does not have the same size. Well, one is apple, one is orange. Make all of them the same apple or same orange. All right, that's how we handle additional fractions. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.